Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to teach you how to call start procedures uh, using Entity Framework Core uh, in ASP.NET Core. So this is a start procedure like uh, create country, uh, get all countries, just, uh, just I want to show you, uh, modified it. And here we have a get all country uh, start procedure and how to call Entity Framework uh, Core, okay. So this is my project and here we have a repository, country repository, just inherit with the iCountry repo and you know what is the repository pattern. Uh, in, in this repository pattern, just to use iCountry repo. So <coughs> by using the get all method, we just call uh, your uh, start procedure. Before going to call details, just I want to tell you uh, about my membership program. I will give you a complete video tutorial on uh, .NET Core or uh, it's not only a simple video tutorial I will give you a uh, beginning to advanced video tutorial and it's all uh, are project based okay so .NET Core video tutorial, Tapper, REST API, Angular, Entity Framework Core, MS Test Unit, .NET Blazor, uh, Unit Testing, HTML, CSL, jQuery, JS, SQL Server and the React okay so it's uh, you know uh, it's all about full stack web development okay so i will give you full video tutorials and complete source code and the documents okay so uh, which is related to this technology in just 800 rupees okay for the indian user and dollar 15 for uh, other country user like, like us uk and australia and uh, any other country where paypal is applicable okay so uh, how to get this membership just fill the form uh, the form link is actually available in uh, video description box and just fill the google form and pay the fees and just get the membership okay so just uh, if uh, just fill this form your name your email id your contact number is not necessary right now transaction reference id order id or paypal id and if you are below from india just uh, pay using upi id uh, just 800 rupees and if you are uh, belong from other country just pay using paypal uh, this is my paypal id okay so fill this form and get the membership if you want uh, if you want to bind and populate data from uh, stored procedure uh, in asp.net core so you can use from uh, sql row and uh, execute uh, sql row async so if you want to apply uh, execute sql row uh, async uh, just use on DML operations. I mean to say that a data manipulation operation like uh, save, remove and edit. During the edit operation you can see here we have a context.database.execute SQL row async method just fire your uh, you know uh, short procedures. So you know this is one is my get all countries short procedure as begin select a struct from countries. So if you want to get um, uh, complete record or result set in your ASP.NET Core with the help of Entity Framework Core, you can use this one uh, for the get all. You can just use uh, from SQL row. Okay, so context.countries and countries is the DB set property uh, in your context file. From uh, from SQL row, you can just use execute your sort procedure name that is get all country and ignore query filter if you have any uh, query filters use in your application db context just uh, ignore it and just get the tool list async okay uh, so return countries as well with the help of from sql row if you get a read only data just use from sql row if you want to manipulate your data like if you want to apply dml operation you can use on directly on applying it in on database so context.database.execute sql row okay and these are if you want to send parameters just you can use sql parameters like that sql parameters sql parameter and sql parameter so here we have three sql parameters okay so with the help of this one get all uh, from sql dot so get by id is all uh, already you know it's a uh, read only uh, data so you can use context dot countries dot from sql row and your stored procedure name you know uh, Stored procedure and any other query actually return a result set in the form of table, not only a single data. So you can just to list and just after that you can in memory data you can just apply filtering in in memory data. Okay, so this one 
and the next one is the remove data and that is the save control and here uh, I'm going to apply only uh, soft delete data so this one I will show you the output uh, on the country where uh, I did apply uh, a from SQL row async as well as your uh, execute SQL uh, row async okay so wait for some time I will uh, show you that details uh, rest of the time I will show you uh, get uh, here we have a soft delete country so just uh, set a boolean flag only okay so what is the soft delete is like that so here we have a country just call these are the soft delete data now only one data is available right now that is Australia okay if you want to delete it then these all are deleted just you can add a new country like uh, Africa okay and just it okay so thank you guys for watching this video tutorial and get the membership as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching.